Today, loved ones are remembering a life lost too soon. Last winter, an East Nashville woman was hit and killed by a driver who never stopped. Months later, her family is still looking for answers. News 2's Nikki McGee has more as they remember what would have been her 36th birthday. Um, they took a great person from us. Just, ooh. She had so much love in her heart. It made no sense. Today, Sierra Burridge would have celebrated her 36th birthday home in Iowa with her partner, sharing her deep love for food and family. But instead, family and friends gathered at the Greenwood North Cemetery to remember her life taken too soon. That's my best friend, so we talked every day, all day, of course. And it, it's, it's made me very angry knowing you know, somebody just did hit her like that. There's been no arrest. No one's come forward with any type of information. And some days I'm, I don't want to get out the bed. Burridge was getting home from her job as a cook around 6 p.m. on December 6th. That's when police say a red SUV that was speeding hit Burridge near the corner of Oakwood Avenue in Sladen Drive in East Nashville. Nearly nine months later, the person behind the wheel is still a mystery. You hit her and she was still attached to your car as you were still driving. That's, that, 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 that takes me there sometimes. It makes me very angry. Loved ones hope this grim milestone might reignite stalled progress on adding stop signs to the intersection along with possible speed cushions. In the meantime, the hit and run weighs heavy on her family's heart and they ask the person responsible to come forward. We're all over the world making sure we're, you know, staying in contact with each other and um, and, you know, and just speaking it into existence that justice will be served and that's what we want. As loved ones celebrate Bridge's first heavenly birthday, they ask all drivers to think, slow down and use caution, especially around pedestrians. We love you, Sierra, and we miss you so, so much and happy 36 years old, baby girl. We love you so much. Now, Burge's partner has set up a petition to get those stop signs added. You can learn more about that on our website at WKRN.com. Police have since been looking for a red SUV, possibly a Chevy Tahoe, involved in this incident. If you have any information, you're asked to contact Crime Stoppers at 615-74-CRIME. Kinley. Thanks so much, Nikki.